good morning everybody how we doing today <clears throat> hopefully everybody's doing well um, get ready to go check a few traps uh, I'm gonna um, set some traps um, supposed to be having a pretty good front come through uh, tomorrow of course they don't know but what they're saying is tomorrow is snow and then rain and then snow and more snow and more snow <clears throat> um, excuse me <clears throat> um, I'm not supposed to get an insane amount of accumulation but uh, we're supposed to get snow so I want to get some sets out uh, try and get them out here before this front I should have had them out the last couple days but I didn't have time to do that so that's uh that's how it goes, huh? But, uh, yeah, we're going to go check a couple sets. I think I have six sets out, something like that. Um, but we're going to go see if we can uh, have a dog. And then we're going to um, go and uh, set some more. So, I guess this is the point. If you don't like God being mentioned and you don't like prayer, uh, jump ahead about uh, oh, a minute or two. And we'll be back into trapping. So, um yeah so those of you who do like that and appreciate it um i'm uh, gonna say something here and then we'll pray and get on down the line um something i just wanted to say i don't have a bible verse for today um but um i just wanted to say you know i uh i had a chance the first chance in i don't know how long to watch a few uh, YouTube videos last night, I don't do it often. Uh, most of the time, I don't have time to do that. But um, there was this guy. I'm not sure where he was from. I'm thinking Hawaii, uh, just by the people that were around him and and so on. Um, he was in a wheelchair. His hands were all crippled up. His only had could use basically one leg um, but he was playing a keyboard with one leg and he was singing praises to God and he uh, got me thinking you know you know here's this guy can't get around I'm able to get out and do stuff you know we that us that have no disabilities really to say um, we should be praising God even more you know these people that don't have can't get out of a wheelchair and stuff like that you know and they're sitting there praising God and and we're, we that are health, healthy can't even say thank you Lord for all you do and stuff I think um, got me thinking so maybe that'll get you thinking a little bit but we're going to pray here and then we're going to get on down the line. Dear Lord, um, come to you this morning. We just thank you and praise you for allowing me to be able to walk around and and uh, do stuff and have, have the ability to set traps and hunt and fish and everything that I really enjoy doing. I just want to praise you right now, Lord, for, for blessing me and... Uh, be with those that might not be able to get out there and do that. Just uh, encourage their hearts today and uh, bless those that are out there watching this and encourage them. So uh, we thank you, Lord, and we praise your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, well, <clears throat> still go uh, check some traps, huh? Hopefully we got something. I'll show you, I'll show you stuff along the way, kind of the sets that I'm making and that sort of stuff. So, all right, catch you later. All right, guys, so we got this road that runs up through there, and then, you know, obviously down through there. Um, what we got is uh, there's a good trail comes in right here, and I know the deer and stuff use it, um, but uh, there's not any real, real fresh deer tracks on it. Um, nothing super fresh, so... Hopefully, um, yeah, deer don't get in here. 
I have some uh, dirt hole right there by that rock. My trap is back quite a bit further than what I would normally. That way I'm not tied up against that rock. I don't want to be tied up against that rock or you can get tangled up and stuff. If he's going around in circles with the trap, he, uh, you know, the trap will miss that rock. So he should, should be just fine. Um, but just a, a dirt hole, kind of a, goes in there, one goes this way, and a little dirt hole goes that way. Um, and I got my lure, my, my bait, and I have a little fox urine in there. Um, if there's a lot of deer sign on that trail, I probably wouldn't have used uh, the fox urine on there, but, because um, I don't see much, I'm going to. And then over here, I just got a flat set. All right right there is my set um, see how it's blended in there real good underneath the end there I've just got a little bait in underneath there let the coyotes use his nose um, it's nothing you know no, nothing looks out of the ordinary so nothing real loud nothing crazy he comes in here and gets a whiff of it um, yeah he'll come in here and investigate and I have these little, I don't know if you can see them, but this little stick right here and this right here to kind of keep them coming around to this side so they don't want to go in on the sides there. It'll bring them, keep them coming around to the front where my trap is. Um, sets like that. Uh, you want to make sure that you're bedded. Well, you always want to make sure that your traps are really bedded tight, but those especially. But, uh, yeah, you always want to make sure your traps are bedded real, real good. So, Lord willing, we'll have a, a coyote in the morning. Like I said, we're supposed to be getting a pretty good front coming through, so we should be running tonight. I heard I was making another set. I didn't record it. It was a, a Yorn Post set. But um, I uh, was down there putting that in uh, about, oh, I don't know, maybe half mile down the road here and um i heard up in this area somewhere i heard a coyote yipping and carrying on so uh yeah hopefully we get into them uh, i know they run this road i've seen their scat years past um if you've watched any of my videos on up this road uh that one year in a blind trail set is where i caught a really nice uh, tom up here cat um, come cat season, I'll be putting some cat traps up here. We don't have that long, and then we'll be uh, getting into cat season. So it's coming fast, the 14th. So, all right, guys. Well, I gotta keep moving here. Uh, on to the next one later. All right, guys. So got this road that comes down through here. Way over there is that ranch that we're trapping on. Um, but this road comes down through and goes down that away. Um, and then you have this side road, little old logging trail. People have been going in there in the summer cutting firewood and stuff. Um, there is scat everywhere in here. And I've seen it before. Um, we hiked up here back in the uh, early fall. And... Uh, before my son went to school and uh, we came up here hiked up through here and I seen all this scat I was like I gotta gotta set this normally I don't like setting so close to roads and stuff but um, kind of reached a point where if you're gonna get the coyotes that's where they're running so I guess I'll take a chance and pray that nobody um, yeah, nobody comes along and wants to steal my stuff but I'm gonna show you what I have here Here's some scat right there on top of that stump. There's, um, well, let's see, there was some older stuff right there, some fresher stuff right there. There's some right there. And then that's my yarn post. And I came in with some other droppings from another place and uh, put them in there and my post. Um, my post is that stick right there, and I have uh, some Cavens uh, Yodel Dog on there on that post. 
um, and my traps right right there a um, few little stepping guides um, there's sticks and stuff all over here so it's not going to bother them there's a couple little stepping stepping guides and stuff um, and then down here we have a dirt hole uh, just a single dirt hole and there you can see that my traps right here that's kind of a nice funnel they can go right through there and not have to worry about it you know not be concerned so uh, yeah nice low spot for them to step they always like stepping down that low spot um, yeah you go down this trail there's scat all the way down through this trail there's some right right there as well um, it's older stuff but uh, yeah so there's scat you know all over through here so should nail us a dog here lord willing we'll grab a couple of them so all right guys i'm gonna keep rolling and i have two more sets i want to get out today and uh we'll be uh we'll be done for the day and then i gotta get i gotta go uh, back to the house and do some work we had some orders come in on our website so thank those who have uh, ordered stuff from us and uh yeah so all right i'll show you those sets when i get them done all right later all right guys so we're back here at the house um so i went and set those other two sets and uh yeah totally forgot to record them show you guys what i did it was a uh kind of a one was like a uh, kind of a flat set yarn post set combo and then the other was a uh, two little uh, like mouse holes just to took the rebar stake and pounded it in each side and made a little hole there and put the lure in, in two different lures in each hole um, so if I remember tomorrow I'll uh, I'll show you um, so I guess uh, this is gonna be it for today but uh, I guess you guys take care God bless and we'll catch you catch you tomorrow all right have a good one guys <laughs>